To continue uh, on with looking at capabilities around imagery and remote sensing, I'd now like to welcome Dan Zimbel. Thank you, Marcella. ArcGIS Pro is a connected app. That means that we have access to vast amounts of imagery as image services from many sources containing images from many sensors, such as this Landsat service, massive global, that many of you have used over the years, to this Planet service, which contains thousands of images, and when their constellation is fully enabled, will be able to image the Earth at four meter resolution every single day. With Pro, we're able to select against these image services like catalogs, selecting the images that we're interested in and use the new item explorer in Pro to review those selections, reviewing those images by date, finding the images, previewing those results, examining metadata, and then adding those images directly to the project. Now with daily imagery, we are able to monitor busy activities over ports and other areas, such as you can see here, all in pro. Or today, imagery provides lots of choices. So we can tap into Digital Globe's massive catalog of imagery as image services and work with their constellation of high resolution satellite imagery in a service. And with Pro, we're able to take that imagery and enhance that imagery and prepare it for further exploitation. Now at Pro 1.4, we're able to create a new core imagery tab. Now like georeferencing is the home for the new orthomapping capabilities. With orthomapping, we're able to create projects such as the satellite stereo pair of digital globe imagery over San Francisco, or aerial imagery or drones, and we can use the orthomapping tools to create adjustments, improving our overall accuracies, reviewing those tie points, reviewing the logs, the reports for our accuracies, as well as using a wizard-driven process to create highly accurate orthophotomosaics or elevation products. Now this is a web application. In it is a digital globe image service containing a high resolution oblique image over San Francisco. And as you may notice as I'm zooming in, the image becomes quite distorted. This is actually due to the image server's ability to orthorectify this image, this oblique image, on the fly to make it accurately portrayed on a map. But this is the image coordinate system. The image server is able to actually project both in map space and image space, providing us both views at the same time. Now, on the left, we have an image in map space oriented with north up. And on the right, we have the image in image space oriented with the buildings up. This means I can do my observations in either map space on the right or image space. Map space on the left or image space on the right. Doing work in image space means that I have access to undistorted imagery to collect observations, digitizing or making my observations, all the while, the image server is transforming those from map space to image space and back and forth. Now, and with the ability to integrate image services ability to perform mensuration, I can use our mensuration tools to perform more precise photogrammetric measurements, all in the web. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Thanks for sharing image capabilities in ArcGIS Pro and also what's possible with image services in a connected environment. 